Hello, my name is Susie Lidston. I'm a painter and watercolour artist. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to create, and without it, I really wouldn't be me. We're standing in Lowndes Buildings, um, which is a wonderful alleyway that I used to walk through with my mother. It's only accessible by walking, it's very narrow. And I painted the cottages behind me quite a few times, but for my new body of work for the Ashgate, I wanted to actually produce a painting showing the alley in its true form. So a very tall, thin painting, which might sound a bit funny, but it's how the alley is. You're leading your eye into what lies beyond, and the focal point with it is the wonderful black lamppost. And this alleyway takes you from the narrow alley lands buildings right through into Castle Street and to the Nelson Arms, which I've done another painting of called One for the Road, which has quite a few meanings really. Obviously it's a pub and play on words, a way of leading your eye up Castle Street to the castle right at the top. I wanted to paint some more of the wonderful colour in Castle Street, but in a more close-up way. The blue doors of the Windsor Arms houses are so iconic for both young and old. When school children come with their teachers to visit my studio, they always know where the lovely blue doors are. And it's bright colours. I think whether you're young or old, you're drawn, well I'm certainly drawn, to bright colours. And it makes it so interesting to paint. This time, I was so lucky that local author Andrew G. Doe took a few reference photos for me of one of the houses that his great-grandfather James Doe lived in from 1848 to 1932. He showed me a lovely black and white photo of the arms house that his great-grandfather lived in, and that was fascinating. And I based the painting on his love of the place and the history of it. The old and the new, which is near the almshouses, shows the red phone box, which I love. It's a point of brightness with the red and the blue combined. With thanks to the Farnham hedgehogs, it's been given a new life, saving lives as a defibrillator, so it still lives on. Castle Street Confectionery with its wonderful bright pink render on the walls and lovely yellow front door. I was delighted that the owners said yes, they'd be happy to have me paint it and be included in my new exhibition at the Ashgate. I work from both photos and sketches, drawing with B pencils, very detailed first stage drawings. I'm an elected member of the Society of Architectural Illustration and I'm afraid I do tend to put in a lot of detail, much to the amusement of some people with the fascination I have for putting in details into every brick I draw. I do find them quite addictive to paint and the variety of colours within each is wonderful. In my defence, Farnham is known for its brickworks and the potteries. Once I'm happy with this stage, the sky is the next part that I put in. I feel it's the framework that dictates the character of the finished painting, and I find it difficult to do to start with. I think it's a challenge. I think it's a good thing, however small or large the area is within the painting, because it dictates the character of the work. After that, I usually work with very small sable brushes, putting in the detail that I love. And over the course of painting, I get to know the subject better. This is the final picture that I'm going to be doing for the exhibition. It's called Georgian Elegance, showing Castle Street. And obviously, as we talked about before, one of the little houses, there's some lovely colours within Castle Street. And it's leading you down, and again, with another focal point, with the lamppost that we're so lucky in Farnham to have so many of. And from an artist's point of view, it's wonderful to paint because it draws the eye into the picture for the onlooker as well.
medieval survivor. This is Goat's Head Passageway that links the borough to the central car park, a walk that's made by so many people and by me over the years so many times. I've painted it before from a different angle, but this time walking from the borough and looking up at the building and this stunning window, which unless you do actually take time to stop, you could so easily miss. The timber frame and the mixture of so many beautiful colours just takes my breath away and I hope I've captured its timeless quality. Passage to School is another hidden part of Farnham that leads you through to such a wonderful open area within the church. I've always loved this walk from when I was a child through to working as a technician at what was then the West Surrey College of Art and Design and now of course is UCA. A wonderful friend used to live in one of the cottages along here and it was a delight to walk from work when I worked at the art college with her and have lunch in the garden looking out at St Andrew's Church and hearing the children outside at St Andrew's School at playtimes, which they still do, of course. This walk connects you to Upper Church Lane and then to Lower Church Lane, which I painted through the Lantern Arch. This really shows you how much I love bricks. Such a wonderful part of the yard. I wanted to paint it really close up with the beautiful blue sign. It's a backwater in West Street, which contains the brick office from where the tally man is to believe to have paid the hot pickers, a link to Farnham and the surrounding areas past. My love of Farnham is ever growing. With my work, I try to keep alive such a fascinating historic town, which I love so much. My work has brought me into contact with so many wonderful people who all have a love of the place. They've given and shared with me so many of their stories of the buildings that I've painted, some of them even born in them. <laughs> 